In this video, we're going to work on the replication of the actual flashlight variable to our client. So that way when the server spawns it, we also want to make it so the client gets the replication of it. So we're going to do a couple things. We're going to make flashlight in hand replicated. So you property. We're just going to set it to replicated. And then we want to create our do rep type. Yeah, do rep lifetime. So we're going to override it. So virtual void do rep uh, what was it called actually no get uh, lifetime uh, what is it like get lifetime replicated props or something like that and I don't remember the parameter I'm going to check real quick and see alright so I went ahead and just copied it because we don't actually need the uh Need it in the header. I went ahead and copied it from another project, the Team Deathmatch series. So let me change the class to Flashlight Character. And it's Get Lifetime Replicated Props, takes in a T array of F Lifetime Properties. Well, a reference to it. And the variable name is just Out Lifetime Props. So then don't make, sh make sure to call Super as well, and you are done. So I want to go ahead and Let's go and do do rep lifetime underscore condition. And the first thing is going to be the class. So a flashlight character. And then our variable, which was flashlight in hand. And then the condition, which is con underscore uh, owner only. So that way it's only going to replicate to the person who holds the flashlight. Because we don't need everybody else to know you know, the other person's flashlight and all that kind of stuff. There's no point. It's just wasting a little bit of bandwidth, even though it's next to nothing anyways. So just add a, I'm going to go ahead and do a flashlight in hand. Just set that to an old pointer by default, even though it should already be. And when this sets it, we should be good to go, except we don't have any owner to set it to, so to speak. So I'm going to actually... Save and close. We need to set the owner. So let's look at spawn actor real quick. And hopefully I can find the the plus plus version. And here it is. So it takes in F actor spawn parameters. So if we look at that, so we can do F actor spawn parameters spawn params we can press and look through that struct and here we have the owner so we can set the owner to equal this and then spawn params will now when that spawns the flashlight it will set the owner to be this character so now that'll take care of that it'll take care of all the replication and we can go ahead and set up our functions here to turn off and on the flashlight so what i'm going to do is void or this can actually be a u function because i want it to be callable from blueprint so blueprint callable category equals tutorial again you can skip the category and we're going to do void now let's do toggle flashlight let's create the implementation i'm going to move it down below all right get lifetime replicated props and we're just going to do a check. So if flashlight in hand, we log flashlight is valid on client. Like that. So this should make it so once it's replicated and we call toggle flashlight, we should be able to see whether or not it has replicated down to the owner. So our own, our own client. So whenever we call the function, it should print out flashlight is valid on client if it fails it'll just say nothing let's go ahead and give that a try we're gonna go ahead and call a uh, toggle flashlight and we're gonna do it on a key press so i always just search for middle mouse button and then change it to like uh let's do f when we press it it should call toggle flashlight go to the log we're going to do it as a client, so make sure we're on the client. 
and I press F, as you can see, it is printing out the log just fine. Same thing goes for the server. So we are good to go, the replication is fine, and that's all we need. So that's great. So I want to go ahead and do a quick little step through of the logic of what I want to do. So turn flashlight off slash on on client. Then I want to call server RPC to replicate the turning off slash on on other clients. Now you might want to be wondering why would we turn it off on the client when the server is going to do it as well. So just like when it comes down to shooting, like uh, I'll take the game CSGO or Counter-Strike or actually really any game. When you shoot, what happens is on the client, so yourself, when you click your mouse button down, you perform the shot. So this is kind of game dependent a little bit on how it actually handles like projectiles or line traces. But you shoot, you play the animation, spawn the effects, like the sound, muzzle effects, smoke, etc. yourself. So that's all spawning on your client. And then it tells the server to do the same thing. So it's making the server kind of handling it for every other client. So all the other clients see that, okay, the sound went off, the animation played for recoil, the action cycling, all that kind of stuff just fine. However, if we went the other route, there would be a delay. So you shoot, you're waiting for the server to then replicate everything down to you to show you that you shot. So you would click your mouse, wait a little bit, depending on your ping, obviously, and then a shot would happen. So we want it to be instant, and that's why we're doing it on the client first. So we're going to go ahead and actually create a function here in our uh, flashlight class. It's going to be public, it's going to be void, and let's do toggle flashlight. So all we want to do is just call toggle flashlight, even though I'm an idiot. We want to do flashlight in hand, toggle flashlight like so. And then we want to go up here and we're going to do a server RPC. It's going to be a U function server reliable with validation and we're going to do void server underscore toggle flashlight. And thankfully Rider generates the implementation like this so it automatically generates the validate and the implementation functions that we need. So we have server underscore toggle flashlight validate and underscore implementation. Well, I've already went over what the validate and function does in the beginner uh, multiplayer series, as well as a bunch of other times just randomly. So I'm not going to go over it again, but all we're going to do is do a check. So if here we want to do the test, uh, what's it called? Actually, I'm an idiot. We don't actually need the server RPC in our character. And the reason for that is because we're the owner. So when we did the interaction and for things like our uh, like the door series, we needed it to get on the server for it to actually uh, handle things like uh, I'm trying to think of what to say here because we don't have ownership of the door. The only person that has ownership of the door was the server. So in order to open or close the door, we had to get onto the server to open or close it. In this case, because we're the owner, we don't need to do that. We can just call toggle flashlight and have the RPCs directly on the flashlight to handle it ourselves. So we can do the same thing again. So you function server reliable with validation and let's call it void server underscore toggle flashlight again. Right the implement yeah. Implementations just like before. I always do validate above implementation and just look cleaner to me. And here we want to do a simple test. So if as authority else server toggle flashlight. So if we have authority, we are going to simply, I have not done the replication yet. We want to simply toggle a on rep boolean for replication. If we are not the server, then we want to make sure we go onto the server so that the server can do it too. However, toggle flashlight on 
client. All server to do the same. So no matter what, uh, we're pretty much going to be doing kind of the same deal. Yeah, we'll end up actually probably changing this now that I'm thinking about it. But that's going to be it for pretty much this video. We have the setup. We are calling toggle flashlight. We have ownership of the flashlight. Now we just need to set up our replication so that way it's replicated when we turn it on and off. But I also at the same time I want to go ahead and create a simple boolean because I want to do this before we do replication. So I want to do bool b light on and by default I want this to be true and then if b light on we turn light off else we turn light on and then I'm just going to return for the time being because I don't want any of this to run so we're just going to set this up to where we can actually toggle it on just in single player without any sort of replication that way we know when we go to replicate it we have something working that we can test with so yeah that is going to be it for this video we already have our key press going to save all so yeah, we are done for now. In the next video, we're going to end up doing... Actually, I already said that, so anyways, ignore what I just said. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server as well, and someone will try to help you. If not, I'm always there. So I'll see you in the next video.